Hi guys, welcome to the Facebook Ad 6 module. Uh, so we are covering reporting and optimization in this module. So uh, you know the goal of this uh, module is to first understand okay, how does the Facebook advertising works on the tool and to understand from a perspective of how to optimize your campaigns for the maximum efficiency, maximum impact and achieving what you set out to do through via Facebook. Okay. Now what we will be covering through this module uh, will be your you know how to set up a first campaign where what are the basic steps to get the campaign kicking off. Okay. Now second thing which we will be covering is the billing and payment part. Okay. Where we understand how are you charged by Facebook, what are the payment methods which you need to understand. Okay. Then we will actually delve move into optimization of the Facebook advertising of the campaigns from a point of view of delivery. Okay, how to best utilize okay the Facebook algorithms okay for 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 achieving the maximum efficiency and impact. Okay. Uh, also, then moving on, finding and navigating the reports. Uh, how to navigate the the report how to understand the data points, which data points to look at for various objectives, we'll be delving into that. And then interpretation of those key metrics, okay. The agenda of this session is, uh, first we'll be covering the basic steps of how to set up a campaign, okay, how to get the campaign kicking off. Uh, then we'll be delving into the billing and payment part, okay, how you, how Facebook charges you and how you can pay to Facebook, okay. And then moving on, we'll be covering the optimization part where we'll be delving into how to optimize the Facebook campaigns for achieving the maximum ROI, for achieving the what you set out to do for the maximum impact via Facebook. And then we'll be delving into the reports bit, uh, how to look at the dashboard, uh, understanding the various data points, uh, and then how to interpret those key metrics which you have identified for for the campaigns okay so moving on uh, let's start with the how to set up a campaign now to start with how to set up a campaign uh, first i'll be showing you through the slides uh, what are the basic steps you do and then i'll do take you through the ad manager tool how to set up a campaign okay now uh, these are one of the fatal steps the first step is your uh, this is how our dashboard looks but the first thing which you choose is the relevant campaign objective. If you have already uh, set a campaign, if you already have an account, this is how your dashboard looks. Okay, so you then start a start when you set a new campaign, you are first asked to choose a marketing objective. These are a few of the options. These are all the options where you can uh, choose a choose out of uh, which you would have studied in detail in one of the modules. So, th so these are the first we need to set a marketing objective for a campaign. Okay, these are all the options from which you can choose. Uh, then you move on to if you are creating an account or you are you know uh, setting up an ad advert account, it will check for the details. Okay, account country, currency, and time zone. Uh, then you have to set, to set up an advert account for, and then you move on to the targeting bit. Uh, you move on to the ad set bit. And you first decide the audience set which you want to target via Facebook. Okay. Uh, then moving on, you move on to the placement bit. You want to do an automatic bit or you want to do an edit placements. You don't want to decide it on your own, uh, on which devices you want to run. And then you move on to the budget bit. We'll decide the budget and scheduling bit. How you want to uh, do the ad delivery, ad schedule delivery type. And then you finally move on to the creators bit where you choose a format in which you want to serve your ad. So let's take up, let's uh, move on to the dashboard itself and understand how to create a campaign. When you go into the Facebook, uh, so this is my individual profile. I click on right on the my right screen. There is some an option called create AdWords, okay, or manage AdWords or create AdWords. You can choose either one. So I'll choose create AdWords. Now it is preparing my new advert account, connecting me to the pages and I move on and it straight away shows me the marketing objective. Okay. 
now first i need to choose an uh, choose an objective for myself let's say i choose brand brand awareness and objective i give the name to the campaign let's say i say brand campaign now this is a campaign name we just now we move on from an objective point to the setting up an adwork account okay now if you choose currency you can choose multiple currencies indian rupees say this the country is india say this this great we are good to go now we move on after continuing from this we move on to the ad set where it is the hierarchy near the next level now where will we will be covering the audience we will be what kind of audience we want to target where want you we want to show them the ad and the budget and schedule so let's start with first giving a name to the ad set okay now i'll keep it as ad set 1 for the understanding the set now this is a one ad set we can have multiple ad sets uh when you would have studied targeting you would have studied there are like uh, basic three types of targeting which is custom audience targeting local like targeting and the one the core targeting let's let's first start with the core targeting or let's cover this core targeting in this module now i choose my location uh, india is already chosen you can choose a delhi location or you can choose multiple locations as well uh, let's say for example i want to also target singapore i can do that as a country i just add on okay uh, i can then choose my age targets now th this is i am working on my core audience i can choose on, only to target men or women okay i only want to target people with an english language i do that i can get into the detail targeting uh, you can go into the demographic section okay uh, it is basically but it it's based on the education generation life events politics relationship work status you can also target people on interest based for example i want to target all people who are interested in films so i click this okay and okay now i want to also target based on the behaviors okay now what are the digital activities they have okay now i can target people on the basis of say early technology adopters i choose that okay so you can always target on uh, more categories but i leave it for later uh so moving on you can do a connection type you want to target people who like your page friends of people like your page people like your app used your app friends of people used your app and events and you can do an advanced competition so this is my core audience which i target now when i move on uh, so i have covered the target audience similarly you can also do a uh you know a local like audience for example if i don't want to do local like audience i need to choose a source okay the page itself let's say digital vidya and the location and i can choose on my will i'll just choose 2.1 million and create an audience okay so i don't have a permission because i'm not i mean okay but i'll leave it for you okay so but this is how you do it okay uh then moving on uh, we go into the placement section after the targeting uh we move on to the placement section now there are two ways you can let facebook decide where to place and it's it's a default situation where you will be placing on whoever at possible in the brand awareness type of a campaign but if you want to edit it you can do that i for example i only want to target mobile only people okay and i don't want to target say in stream videos uh and not instant instant articles uh so i can do that i only want to target facebook feeds and suggested videos uh in feed this and stories and these are ineligible okay now you can also go for a specific mobile devices okay android only and devices for example you can choose that now moving on this is a placement field where i want to see show my place my ad okay now we move on to the budget and schedule bit okay so there are two types which you can do one is a daily budget okay 
on the basis which which will uh, vary to uh, some amount but you can choose a budget based on your marketing plans or you can also decide for a campaign for this campaign i want or for its ad set i have a lifetime budget okay i don't want to spend more than say a specific amount okay i can also schedule it let's say i want to start in this date and i want to end on this date i can choose my timings okay now facebook chooses for you the most optimized way of delivery but you can choose based on say i have chosen a brand awareness and objective i can also go for reach but facebook is recommending brand awareness recommended i'll stick to that okay now next what i'll do is uh, so bid amount will be aut uh, automatic okay let the facebook decide get the most of the brand uh, when you charge you are based on impression you know you can also advert schedule on uh, by the way uh, your bid amount can be manual it depends on the marketing objective which you solve okay now advert schedule you can also also run adverts on a schedule and it is only possible when you do a lifetime budget campaign okay so i'm scheduling i only want to show in these timings on all days and if i decide i don't want to show them okay say on sunday i can do that okay so let's scheduling is done you can have not delivery type standard is the very practice one i would but there is a one more uh, type of a delivery which is accelerated where you show as quickly as possible okay okay you do that now you continue now ad set part is done what we have covered is how to what audience i want to target where i want to place my ad on the facebook network okay and the budget and the scheduling bit we have decided the budget for this ad set and the schedule the timings now when we move on to the ad word which is a creative word we first decide what page i want to show okay now this is a page i want to show now uh, then i decide the format of my ad it could be a carousel single image single video or slide show these are the formats available for brand awareness let's say i choose single image i can add a full screen experience with a canvas uh, uh this to be covered in the some other session uh now moving on i let's say i choose a image okay i choose this image or i can add my own image let's say i choose this okay now i okay so let me first change the page now let's say i choose brown factory this i have chosen okay now i can write some text over here i give a copy then i can add a website url url if i want okay so i you can do that okay so then if you place the order okay it's good to go and it will start serving a ad for you so this is how you set up a campaign now what i want you to do is uh, pause this video over here uh, i would i would encourage you to do this exercise for in your own screens okay and come back when you're done with this and then we will continue to billing and payment part and now we move on to billing and payment section where we understand how are we charged and when are we charged okay and where does our money go okay so let's understand this but before we understand remember one thing is that you are always in control of how much you spend when i say this when i mean is as we have seen in the earlier uh, earlier while setting up campaign 
that you decide your campaign budget you decide your adverts set budget okay you you can decide whether it is daily budget or lifetime budget you decide the bids okay so you are always in control how much you spent okay uh, and as your ads are served okay how much you will be spending it depends on three things it depends on your audience size it depends on your bid and your ad ad schedule somewhat also on the competition as well now here are the three things where will which will be discussing in the billings and payments module or part that when i am actually getting charged okay what are my payment options to pay to facebook for advertisement and how do i add or remove or change my payment methods okay now let's first quickly understand i'll take you to the demo later that there is a section within the adword tool the dashboard which is billing and payment method over here you go and set up your payment methods okay now after clicking on that billing and payment methods you move on to the section where you can do three things uh, you can when you're getting started you can manage your billing preferences okay when i say billing preferences that when i say is that how often i want to get billed at what frequency i can set a threshold amount okay and so and how often i want to get charged okay so as long as say i said 100 dollars i want a bill to be generated facebook will do that okay it depends on my uh, you know uh, at the rate at which i am spending i want to set decide a threshold okay now if you are, want fewer bills you can raise your threshold if you want bill to be smaller amounts you can lower your threshold okay it completely depends on you now second thing which you need to do is add a payment method which you can do when you are setting it up okay now payment methods will be discussing in the subsequent slides okay what are the payment methods available and third thing you can set up while setting up your uh, you know billing and payment methods is the account spending limit now you can control how much you want to spend for example if you go to if you if you uh, spend say say you don't want to spend more than 1 lakh rupees or say 500 dollars uh, uh an amount you when you set that account spending limit so it will pause all the ads it will stop serving the ads as your you know account limit is passed now this doesn't mean that it will get renewed at the end of the month okay it means that that you have spent an amount of 1 lakh dollars or 1 lakh rupees or 500 dollars and it has crossed that limit and it will stop serving it so recommend i would recommend to use this exercise this option only when you have a very budget constraint requirements okay now it is also to bring you to notice that if you have not added a payment method so far while creating uh, you know so far uh, in your advert account in the ad manager tool you will be prompted to do this once you have created an ad okay now remember we were asking that how, when will i get charged you will start getting charged as you hit that place order button when we were doing the state creating a campaign now if you're creating an ad for the first time you will direct it to input your payment details as you can see and if you have created before you'll be charged immediately okay now the next thing which we are discussing is before i do show you the demo is what are the payment options available now one for for there are the three options one is manual payment methods now in, in india you can manually pay to a net teller okay uh, uh, the other way is to pay through paytm and the other way to pay through uh, to facebook is through credit and debit cards how does it work in the dashboard now for example i was an ad manager adwords manager it's frequently also billing a payment but in all tool section there it is you go into this Okay, so for this AdWord account, this is my own. Okay, you can set your preferences, you can add. So I, why I can't see the manage preferences because I have not added any payment method. When once I click on this, so these are the options I have. I can do a net banking, you can do a Paytm wallet. If you have a coupon, you add it or you do a credit card. Okay, now if I go back, okay. So you can add this payment method you can also create a limit on the account 
if you want to set it as i discussed earlier and once you have added a payment method you can also manage your preferences how much often or how much on how much money you want to quit now if you want to see i'll just show you once your set is how does it look how does this interface look now this is how it looks this is my balance in one of the accounts okay uh, these are the bills which are getting generated the transaction ids the product types payment methods how much the amount is billed what is the payment status these are the payment methods i can edit one okay okay and if i go back you can edit from here this option is not available because i'm not the admin and also i can then because i'm not an admin i cannot vouch for an account spending limit but you can do that okay so i hope this helps guys uh i hope this helps uh so let's move on to the next module where we will be discussing how to optimize how to optimize our campaigns how to optimize for the delivery how to bet best utilize facebook algorithms for the maximum impact and results okay guys uh, let's now move on to optimization for ad delivery uh, so basically what we'll be discussing over there is uh, how how to utilize facebook from a point of view of delivering your ads in an optimized way okay you get maximum impact in terms of reaching out uh you know a better brand recall better conversions you know more clicks at a lesser cost okay so uh you know to start with uh let's understand so how does facebook optimize your ads okay uh and how does facebook helps you okay it can optimize on the basis of like for example it starts with the uh, you know it depends on the objectives so first step when you do create a campaign as we have seen earlier is that we select the right campaign objective okay and based on the campaign objective facebook algo way work now for example if you tell a facebook that i want to run a brand awareness campaign okay now his goal is to reach out to those more and more number of people and at a frequency which ultimately helps that your brand is recall when it comes to that category okay uh similarly if you are running a campaign based on clicks or traffic okay the objective is to reach show their show your ad to those people who are more likely to click and then if it's a conversion based campaign now first of all you need so, uh, so you need to understand how will facebook record that it's a conversion so as you would have seen in you would it, as it is discussed in other modules you know it will be discussed that you need to have a pixel placed of facebook on the website on the form which where you want to track your conversion and on a conversion based objective the facebook will show the ad to the person who is more likely to convert okay and this is how facebook helps you optimize your ads okay now when we were creating a you know targeting bit ad set where there was a component component for optimization for ad delivery Facebook will automatically select the most relevant one. Now, in case of a brand awareness campaign, it will recommend you to select optimization for brand awareness only. You can also select a reach as an option, will the, in which uh, Facebook will serve ads to maximum number of people. But Facebook recommendation would be to stick to a brand awareness recommend campaign where it will show your ads to people who are more likely to pay attention to them. Okay. and uh, 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 you know to help you achieve your campaign objective that's the ultimate so facebook will help you achieve an ad objective your campaign objective and it will optimize your ad delivery per se based on the campaign objective uh, now what to spend next bit is what to spend and how to you know how to monitor your spend and staying control now when you go into the dashboard you will be looking at the column of amount spent okay uh, so you can you are always in control of how much money you are spending okay and you can track campaign wise okay uh, you can also measure at a level of ads okay how much each ad is performing in terms of it. so for example this is a page like campaign in way which you can compare which ad is giving how many page likes what was their reach okay now what to track if your if your goal is to track how is the engagement you select engagement and you track these things and 
you know, with time, when you roll out, say, multiple ads, Facebook will start serving that ad more, which is, you know, which is achieving more of your campaign objective. Okay. So Facebook in this image, in this slide presentation, you can see, it will start serving that ad more, which is more likely to generate page likes, which is a results for us. Okay. So this result section depends on the campaign objective. Okay. So you can monitor that. You should also monitor how is your ad doing in terms of ad demographics. You can see over here. Okay. See, is it serving to the right audience, which you are looking for? And you can allocate more budgets based on that. Okay. And you can also should also check if you have created custom audiences, if you have created audiences, how much is the overlap? So you should do all these optimization ways. Okay to get more out of the Facebook in terms of ROI or in terms of affecting, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, achieving better out of uh, your objective, campaign objective.